so vitamin D, when I say D, I mean D3. Uh, when the sun hits your hand, uh, it turns a chemical in your skin into vitamin D1. Vitamin D1 travels to your kidneys. Your kidneys turn it into vitamin D2. It goes to your liver. Your liver turns it into vitamin D3, and that's what you use for calcium metabolism. So when you buy a vitamin D2 over the counter, maybe you're not, you're not, you don't have the enzymes to turn it into D3, and you don't use it as effectively. Right. Does that make sense? So you want to kind of bypass all that by getting vitamin D3. So the reason why the supplement companies dump vitamin D3 in with calcium is because they know people think they should take it. Vitamin D, I'm going to catch up to your question. Let me just backtrack a little bit. Vitamin D is a hormone. It's not a vitamin. It was mislabeled. It's important for calcium metabolism, but it's also anti-neoplastic, it, uh, meaning it fights cancer, and if you get your serum level up to a 60. So you need to have your doctor look at your serum level or your blood level of vitamin D, and you want to get it between a 60 and an 80. That is the dose at which vitamin D acts as an anti-neoplastic for all adenocarcinomas. So that's breast, prostate, lung, for example, pancreatic. Um, this data is very, very important. In fact, people with low vitamin D are at risk for getting prostate cancer and at risk for progression. So vitamin D is a critical therapeutic for you. The question is, how do I know how much to take? right? Because if you take too much of a hormone like vitamin D, you can cause heart issues, like a heart attack. So that's why when they give it to you over the counter in these formulas, the supplement companies know that you want it, so they put a very I'm small sorry, dose. The vitamin D that you're taking in these formulas or that you see over the counter is usually low dose. It'll be between 400 or 2,000 over the counter. That doesn't do anything to help you. You do need to take more than 2,000 to reach that therapeutic level. Does that make sense? It so but it's hard to, 4,000 is good, but it depends on what your serum level is. Get the blood test done, find out what your serum level is, and you dose to that serum level. If you stay at 2,000, it'll maintain where you're at. So it has to be above 2,000, but you don't want to go too high and risk a heart attack. Vitamin D, it doesn't matter what brand you get. So it's safe to take over the counter, but the over the counter doses are very low. So you'd have to take a ton of it to get to that therapeutic level. There's a study that just came out that if your serum level is over 70, you are, there's, some, there's some people who are having balance issues, which puts them at risk for fractures. Um, this is why it's so important to see someone like myself who can titrate it to you as an individual. Not everybody is at fracture risk. Age, is, age matters. What you're eating matters. What other things you're taking matters. Have you had pelvic radiation? That, that matters. You know, have you been at risk for, are you at risk for falls for other reasons? For example, neurological issues, diabetes, peripheral neuropathies. So all of those things come into play. It's not so simple, you know, Glenn is taking the handful, the mitt that you do in the morning. Although I'm happy that you're taking care of yourself, I think that's the risk, is that you think, well, I'm doing the right thing, right? You know what I mean? And I want to make sure, and we want to make sure, um, MIU and myself, that you're taking the things that are really going to benefit you.